All right. Today we're going to do a test drive, a Ford Flex. This is a 2010 model. I'll show you around at least half of this car because I know a lot of people don't even know what this is. It's a, kind of an SUV crossover for Ford. You know, Ford doesn't make a minivan anymore, at least not that I know of until 2011. But this is an all-wheel drive Ford Flex SEL model. It does have a third row seat. Look inside here. Oops. There's inside the front seat. Okay. There's the back seat. It does have some controls back here, an outlet and your heating controls. Okay, slowly go back here. So you can see the third row, made for two people. Alright, back out of here. Get inside, does have most of them come with power seat. Here's what the side door handle and controls look like. Got your side view mirrors, power mirrors. There's the dash. You do have info, information on there, as you can see. Okay, it's got steering wheel controls or radio, media. This this one does come with the thing called sync. Now, what sync is, is you can sync your phone, you can sync I, I, like an iPod to the stereo system. Here's where you can hook things into. You got the auxiliary input, you got a USB port, and uh, an auxiliary power. It does have rear climate control, it does have heated seats even though the seats are not leather, which is a nice feature. So this is where it says sync powered by Microsoft. And there's the radio and here's where you hit the info button to get the like miles per gallon stuff on the dash. Okay, let's take this for a ride. This it's all wheel drive model, so we'll be able to go through the snow just fine. And uh, has a 3.5 liter V6, which should be plenty of power, but it is a heavy vehicle, so I'm going up hills. If you're towing anything, it may be a little underpowered for that. Let's turn here. We got a car in front of us. Go up the hill. But one thing that did surprise me. A lot with this vehicle is that it's very comfortable. I remember seeing this car for the first time and I actually thought it was kind of ugly. Thought it was one, you know, one of those kind of cars that you end up thinking that it's going to have to grow on me. Well, that's uh, that's kind of that's kind of what I thought of this car at first. And now that I've driven them, uh, I think it's kind of grown on me. I wouldn't mind driving a car like this just because of the comfort level and the features that it brings. But like I said, I personally wish that it would have a little bit like their four four liter motor that Ford makes. If they put that in here, then I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I was planning on towing anything or, or loading the car up. If you had, you know, six adults in here, seven adults in here, and some luggage or something, you'd definitely fill it. But Overall, I'd probably give this car a four star out of five. Uh, change a few things, and this thing would be a very, very nice car. There you go. If you have any questions, uh, you know where to find me, thetestdriver.com.